what's up guys Nunda is here so let's see which CPU is better the Ryzen 9 7950X or the i9 13900K so let's start with the Cinebench R23 benchmarks and we have the i9 13900K unlocked okay it's unlocked so the score for the multi-core is 40,616 for the 7950X it's uh, 38,984 so the 13900K is actually 4% faster than the 7950X which is interesting like the 7950X is will be probably more expensive than the 13 900k obviously we don't know anything about pricing but usually the ryzen 9 50x series are usually more expensive so let's see the single core performance the 13 900k actually gets around 2288 while the ryzen 9 70 950x gets 2205 this score is actually was tested with uh, air cooling so it's definitely higher with uh, water cooling honestly I even think that the single core performance is more powerful than the 13900k because obviously it's tested with air cooling like just take a look at the difference between air cooling and uh, water cooling like massive difference like 30% difference or something so yeah it will probably beat the 13 uh, 900k in single core performance which is really interesting because in games the biggest factor in games is single core performance single core is so important for games so yeah keep that in mind so let's talk about other things Apparently, the base frequency of the 13900K is 3 GHz. The base frequency for the P cores and the E cores. And if you don't know, the 13900K is 8 powerful cores combined with 16 efficiency cores. So the base fr frequency for the efficiency cores and the P cores is 3 GHz. The turbo boost frequency for the P cores, okay, for the P cores, it's around 5.7 GHz to 5.8 GHz. Boost frequency for the E cores, it's 4.5 GHz. The base frequency for the 7950X is 4.5 GHz, and the turbo boost frequency is 5.7 GHz. So it looks like the Intel CPU have more L1 cache, although I can't really calculate how much cache it have because honestly I don't know if 80 uh, kilobyte of L1 cache like for each core even the efficiency cores and the P cores so honestly I don't know but the Intel CPU have more L1 cache than the 7950X the Intel CPU have also more L2 cache than AMD however AMD have more L3 cache than Intel. Uh, Cinebench R23 performance it doesn't show us everything like yeah it give us a good idea about how the performance of the CPUs but it does not give us a real picture of how it will perform in games it's different story guys like like the memory cache in the CPUs are really 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 important for gaming so so the single core performance and the memory cache in gaming is very important AMD is based on 5 nanometer while Intel is based on 10 nanometer and honestly like Intel is very notorious of this like 10 nanometer is a lot it, so it's not very efficient thus it will produce a lot of heat in comparison to the 5 nanometer because it's more efficient however actually the TTB is 125 watts for uh, Intel and 170 watts for AMD so for the heating thing honestly I don't know like yeah it's more efficient however it consumes more wattage so honestly I don't know what to say I don't know which CPU heats more so yeah and quite interestingly the new CPUs from AMD actually contain an iGPU 
uh, honestly I don't I have no idea about the performance of the iGPU but it looks like decent that's all I can say and another interesting thing the AMD CPU have more for PCIe lanes which is like really really nice especially if you have a high-end system it will really really benefit you but like for budget PC builds it will not matter all at all like uh, it will benefit you if you have like lots of SSDs if you plug multiple GPUs into your system if you plug so many USB ports this is where you will find it helpful but yeah like for most people it will not be a big deal but overall it will come to pricing honestly like bo both CPUs are, are actually good in my opinion like both of them are really good why I am saying that because we don't know the pricing because probably the 7950X honestly it will probably be more expensive than the 13900K yeah which makes the Intel CPU will probably be better honestly it's really hard to decide because it will all come to pricing however you might say I don't care about the money which CPU is better well honestly I can't really tell you like yes the Intel CPU gets slightly more performance than the uh, 7950X but remember guys this CPU is 16 core CPU so the single core performance is probably better okay like yes the single per core performance is good but this is for only 8 cores okay so this is only for 8 cores but in the case of AMD it's 16 cores 16 powerful cores like the efficiency cores are much weaker so yeah it's really hard to decide if I would pick one I would probably pick the AMD CPU in my opinion because because there is no efficiency cores in this CPU although this 3900K gets slightly more performance I would still get the 7950X because it only have powerful cores but as I told you guys it will all come to pricing which CPU have a better pricing so honestly I was surprised from both companies both companies are doing great so really good news so this is it guys hope you enjoyed hope you benefit and see you later I just want to thank uh, Dexter Dragonil for commenting on my videos honestly I honestly thank you so much for supporting me this means so much to me see you later